making surfboards, it's an addiction. Just like riding waves, that's an addiction. You know, I, I ride the board and I think, oh, this could be better, or if that did this a little better, or, you know, a little bit more drive here and, and so on. You kind of get a design to a stage and you feel it and you think, well, that's great the way it is. That's really doing everything I want it to do. Let's lock that in. And you hang on to it and, and move on. So it's deeply satisfying. Just like riding a nice wave the way you want to ride it. So when there's boards to ride and no waves at home, you do what every other surfer does. Pick a foreign destination and just go search for waves and enjoy anything else you encounter along the way. Yeah, we search for days. Days and days of shitty waves, really. Into this bay, into that bay, over that hill. What's that point look like? So pretty much all perfect setups, but just had no swell. So we decided we need to make a move. We need to go somewhere. This swell's gonna have a direct hit. And what do you know, only a few hours down the road, we drove over a hill and bang. Oh, look at oh that! Oh my God! What? What? That's still barreling. Oh, out That's there. still oh, hitting. Gotta, you're joking. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, that was amazing. I was pinching myself just to make sure it was real. The charts looked the same for the next day, so we just posted up, pulled the fishing rods out, and just enjoyed what Canada had to offer. So before the trip, I decided to visit a design that a really good childhood friend and still one of my best friends now made for his first and only board he's ever shaped. It's a pretty wacky design that came from a stuff up in the shaping process. We had to cut the nose down and end up with this really wide platform and weren't sure how to bring the tail in. So he ended up putting this really pronounced sort of side cut meets flyer in the tail and turned out pretty weird and named it the Mushrooms and Mints. <laughs> Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good waves to have on my birthday. Pretty tired from yesterday, but you can't not surf that shit on your birthday.
Wow, what a decision to remake that shape. There's something so unique about the way it skims down the line and the heavy drive you get out of such a tiny board at only 4 foot 11. Um, combining that with this sort of perfect Canadian point break that we just stumbled across. This awesome local crew we surf with just made for an absolute magic time. What an experience. A time in my life I'll never forget.